Okay, we just watched a country music. Let's hit Shane Gillis, baby. <clears throat> Why white people like country music? I don't know, I just moved to New York this year, and uh, yeah, it's all right. New York's all right. It's nice. I, I like it more than I thought I would, but uh, I just just found out I was fat. Just th I'm 31. I just this year found out that I was a fat guy. I'm from a white trash enough town that this was killing it. <laughs> He's the oldest living 31-year-old. Like, yeah, I know. It's a secret of my own, but just hanging out, man. It's mostly hanging out. And then, I don't know, I moved, uh, I moved to Philly first. I lived in Philly for like two years. Yeah, gay birds. And then... Uh, gay birds. But it was funny because I moved like from a white trash town to Philly like right during the presidential election. <laughs> <laughs> You pussies. Uh, <laughs> no, but it was funny because like that was a big jump. I went from like an all white trash town to then to the city where now all my new friends were like real woke, and that was like because if like if this was my hometown, someone could just walk in here in full camouflage and sit down, and you'd be like, that's a fucking good outfit. <laughs> what are you, are you trying to get pussy in here tonight, dude? Come on, man. <laughs> Go full camo, cluster All right. Full camo. Like everybody I grew up with listens to country music. And I don't, but I get it. Like, I understand why white people like it. You know? Like, you can relate to it. You can understand all the lyrics. <laughs> you don't need to Google what a nene is. <laughs> it's not, I don't know if you know this. Every country song is just about exactly what a white guy is doing at that moment. It's like, I turn the radio up. It's like, yeah, fuck yeah. That's good. That's music. That's what I like. I get it, you can relate to it. I ride around, I listen to rap. That's all I listen to. I can't relate to one fucking song. <laughs> I just ride around by myself, bob my head, just like, I beat the pussy up. Like, oh, oh. <laughs> I, like, I don't know if I beat it up. Like, I'm like, I'll shadow box the pussy. I've never... <laughs> I've never knocked it out. Everyone's knocking out pussy. These, I've never knocked it out. I'm more like Floyd Mayweather with a pussy. Very technical. <laughs> Very defensive. <laughs> That's all I listen to. I just ride around and listen to people brag about how good they are at sex. I don't think I've ever made a girl make a sound with my dick. <laughs> Except like when I lay on them at first and they're like, oh. <laughs> That's just, oh, Jesus, mister. Jesus, mister. That's a real life joke right there. Yeah, good. So that's where I'm from. And then I moved to the city. And here, let me lose you again real quick. Uh, <laughs> it was right during the presidential election. And uh, it was funny because all my friends went from like white trash to like I said, woke. And they were all like, they're all like, did you guys all vote Democrat? Did anybody here vote? <laughs> do you guys, do you guys remember how like confident you guys were? Going into that last one? Oh, uh, you remember that? A little borderline arrogant going into that. All right. Don't let it cost you again. <laughs> no, I relax. Relax. I did not vote for him. <laughs> yeah, fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Yeah. No, I, act I actually did not vote for him, which that was tough. Look at me. His whole campaign was at me. <laughs> I was watching TV. He was like, are you a fucking fat idiot? I was like, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, what are we yeah. doing? What the fuck are we doing, dude? We're building walls? Hell yeah. <laughs> I took skull out of my mouth to come up here. Shut and the fuck up. I didn't vote for up. Donald Trump. Makes me like a Nelson Mandela of central Pennsylvania. Nelson Mandela? <laughs> I like more of his stuff than I. I you guys are all right. Did. Really? I feel like yeah. I, feel like I, I want you guys to know that we're like black friends. Do you think? Uh, how do you like uh, like Bert and all that still? Do you think they're just getting too big? Or I say seven black friends when the rest of your friends you still are just fucking goofy. enjoy their their comedy. What's going on with the the whole? Uh, I like him more now than I did before. Yeah. Like before, he was more just like the Trump. Kind of impersonated yeah, a little yeah, bit yeah. and kind of fuck around with that stuff. Like, uh, mostly just political. He just did whatever people liked, you know? Yeah, but lately, a lot of his stuff 
And this is kind of old, I think. Yeah, this is really old. What were you saying? Yeah, this is four years ago. But this is, um, it's pretty good. Uh, I just don't, haven't seen anything, like. You, you, you didn't watch, like, the Burt's last special? <clears throat> or, uh, Tom's uh, last special? I, I've never been a Burt or a Tom guy. <sighs> you know? But, uh. Which is interesting, because they're both opposites. Yeah. Like their comedy style. Yeah. Um, Tom had like some funny stuff in there, but it's just like, Tom's more of a storyteller. Yeah. Well, so is Bert. Kind He's of. like a dry humor more though. Yeah. But Bert's like, he tells you why it's yeah. funny. Yeah. And he laughs at his own jokes. Yeah, and he gets all excited and shit. That's some, the funniest thing about him is how he is, like him telling it. I think it's still Theo Vaughn, still, still the goat. Like, he's one of the funniest motherfuckers. Oh, you want to hear the Theo one? See if he did anything recently? Theo, Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. Theo Vaughn. Theo V